And I want to just point out to you, this is from the King James. This is verse 13 in the King James. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. Now, let's look at a note we picked on the NIV. Let's pick on the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. This is from the New Revised Standard Version. Same psalm, same verse. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. We've changed from the thy to the your. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his words and gracious to all his deeds. That's all in verse 13. If you looked at verse 14 in both translations, they'd be the same. So why is it? Well, let's go back here. Why is it that in the King James Version, it just says, Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. But the New Revised Standard Version adds, The Lord is faithful to all his works and gracious to all his deeds. Now, fortunately, the New Revised Standard Version gives an accounting for itself. It has a little footnote here that is a, um, immeasurably helpful. Let's take a look at it. That's the footnote down at the bottom of the page. And it says, if you see the, word, you see the letter C, that's the note we want to we wanna focus on. This, this one right here. It says, these two lines supplied by QMS Guk Sir. Okay? I, I'm not entirely sure who that is, but it's, it's an unfortunate name. Um, it's actually, these are abbreviations, right? The Gik, the GK, that's Greek for the Greek um, translation, the older Greek translations of the Hebrew Bible. They have this, these missing two uh, lines in, um, in, their, um, uh, in that translation. And then the Sur reflects, uh, represents the Syriac translation, which is another ancient language translation that we have access to. It also has these two additional lines. So we have the the Hebrew text underlying the, the King James Version, which is called the Masoretic Text, that does not have those two lines, but the Greek and the Syriac. So why does the New Revised Standard Version side with the Greeks and the Syriacs, but not in the Syriac tradition, but not the Hebrew Bible? What do they have against the, 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 the Masoretic Text, which is the complete Hebrew Bible, the oldest and, um, and uh, manuscript that we have, which dates to about 1,000 A.D. or 1,000 C.E., why did they not, why did they not um, adhere to that? Well, that QMS is one of the main reasons. QMS, in the New Revised Standard footnote, refers to Qumran manuscript, in particular that scroll known as 11Q Psalms A which you can see a portion of it down here. And in particular, I'm interested in this portion, which is column, um, I want to say column, oh, it slipped out of my head. Let's pretend it's column 17 for the moment. But this, what we, what we find, is in fact um, a copy of Psalm 145. And when we look at it closely, we see that the Qumran text has that missing noon, that missing line. Now, that missing line, the, the reason why this is particularly interesting is Psalm 145 is an acrostic poem. You, you know what acrostic poem is, right? Uh, your best example of an acrostic poem is Psalm 119, and it's a, it's a grand acrostic poem where every eight letters, is a, it, it, each line of, each, uh, of, of every eight verses, each line starts with a, with a different Hebrew letter. So the first eight verses starts with the letter A or Aleph, um, the second, bait, or B, and so on. Well, Psalm 145 is an acrostic poem. In the Masoretic text, in the Hebrew text, and in the King James translation of it, it's, um, it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. It's missing the N line. Interestingly, this, this passage here is, um, if you could see it, and I'll just step over here right now, That's, that is a, an older version that's the end line in the um, Qumran manuscripts. This dates to approximately the 3rd century B.C., maybe the 2nd century B.C.E. So it's 1,300 years older than the Masoretic text that we have. And the Masoretic text is reliable, but this is an older witness, and it has that noon line. And just so you know, here's the English translation of that. And the English translation is... Um, uh, in between every verse it inserts, blessed be the Lord and blessed be his name forever. But if you look at verse 13, you'll notice that it has 
God is faithful in his words and gracious in all his deeds. Blessed be the Lord and blessed be his name forever and ever. There's, there is this missing line.